Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Theodore Campbell once again, and I have another video for you guys. So, the bus I got for you guys to uh, on this episode is the Greyhound GMC 4107. Now, we've been waiting for this bus for a while, so I'm super excited that this bus is available now. So, they're finally out. Now, I want to make a disclaimer really quick. Um, yes, I'm doing these videos and I'm super excited about it. But when we get into buses like this, you have to understand these buses came before my time. I am actually 38 years old at the filming of this video, which is 2022. So this bus is way ahead of my time. I've never had the pleasure of driving one of these buses. So it's way ahead of my time. I didn't start driving buses until the early 2000s, if you want to be honest. I think I graduated high school around 2021. No, no, I said, man, I'm bugging. <laughs> I said 2021. 2001 or 2002 is around the time that I graduated high school. And of course I was 18. And then of course, you know, these days you have to be 21 to get a CDL license. So I would say uh, roughly around the 2003, 2004 um, time is when I got my CDL. So these buses were way obsolete by then. So I'd never had the opportunity of driving one of these coaches. But I'm going to say out of, like I said, my dad, he drove for 40 years. And um, he's not around right now. But he used to always talk about these buses all the time. He drove many of them in his day. And... Whenever he used to show me pictures and of past buses, these were definitely one of the buses that I saw, along with the Scenic Cruiser. I actually have a model Scenic Cruiser, but it's in the other room, and I'm not going to make this video long with me to go get it. But this was one of the buses that I seen all the time in the pictures. And I'm going to tell you the truth. is If I had to pick one of my favorite buses... To just look at. Because I've been to a, a few bus shows in the past. Shout out to the um, the, the different bus shows. Like they have in um, Hershey, Pennsylvania. And now they having a few over there in Trenton. At um, Stars Bus Yard and stuff. They have all the different old models. But this was always one of my favorite model buses from the past. I don't know why it just really stands out to me. I think it's a very good looking coach. And um yes, it's a it's a beautiful co beautiful coach. And of course it's livery by Greyhound, this particular coach. But a lot of different bus companies had the name and Iconic Replicas is actually selling different libraries. Of course they're gonna have trailways and a few others. So you can check out their website. I'm not promoting them. I'm, I don't work for them. But for the sake of this video, we're just going to look at Graham. And of course, you people know, I like to call them the big bad wolf. <laughs> if you don't know why I call them the big bad wolf, you can check out some of my previous videos. But I think this is an absolute beautiful bus. Of course, this bus is shorter than 40 feet. Let me see. I just did a video about the MC12. This is a 40 foot coach that's in my hand. And I'm gonna put it next to this coach right there. And you see it does stick out a little bit longer. Let me see. Put it there. That's back to back. So you can see that this is a 40 foot coach and this was shorter. A lot of the buses back in the day were a lot shorter than they are. 
that's so for you bus operators that go into these uh bus stations that are really 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 old that's why <laughs> they're super duper tight because there was actually made for coaches like this there was a lot shorter in height and a lot shorter in length so when you're trying to pull that big 102 45 footer in there and it's super du duper tight is because they really made the bus station for buses like this but we're already at five minutes so let's get into it real quick again this is the gmc uh 4107 you can see the details Bus is absolutely beautiful. Destination sign Seattle. Greyhound coach. Two decks, of course. You had to walk up to get to the second deck. Just almost like the scenic cruiser. Yeah, I think they did a, a wonderful job. I don't see no screws on the bottom like some of the buses are, so you can take them apart to um, customize them, but I'm sure there's some way you can do it. This is the roof. And we'll do one spin around once again. Like I said, I don't have tons of details to tell you about this coach other than it's absolutely beautiful. So I hope you guys get in the comments. Let me know what you think about this bus. Some of you old, old school drivers, let me know. Does this look like the original 4107? I think it looks beautiful. Uh, Get in the comments, like, share, and subscribe. Let me know what you think. Do you have any of the other 4107s that um Iconic Replicas put out with the other libraries? Like I said, Trailways. Um, I think they have a um, military police one, a Voyager one, and there's a few others, but I'm, I can't think right now. I might even land on a few in the in the future and actually do some videos on those. So, but as of right now, we're dealing with Greyhound. Like, share, subscribe. Let me know what you think, and get in the comments. Let me know. And I will talk to you guys next time.